Yes, this is how we fix the Ferrari. Just like that. I think you need to put your hips into it a little bit. I don't want to go too far. Oh. I have a microphone attached to each of my nipples here. You see the little Bluetooth here, which is hooked into the microphone, which if it is one of these nipples making that noise, oh, it's, it's, no, nope, nope. doesn't seem to be liking it. Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And I am back up at the Car Wizard's Lair with my 2013 Ferrari 458 Spider that I bought with 86,000 miles and a salvage title. And the Car Wizard had gone through this thing with a fine tooth comb. He's starting to fix some issues, but then he noticed something. He noticed something really, really bad, he says, and I need to come up and see this right now and figure out what we are going to do. So. I don't know what it is. I know this car was thrown into a ditch at one point and had some damage and it was repaired. Uh, <laughs> it was repaired, let's say. Uh, and now we are going through a lot of things. It's all taken apart. I guess we'll get the wizard in here and see what's up. Wizard! It's all tore apart. Yes, we're pulling out all the tinfoil alien communication devices. So the wizard fainted in the last Ferrari video because I only authorized a, a few little things, but really I'm going to do more. All right, we're waiting on some quotes back for some parts like the under tray to get a firm price on that. And I did say do the annual service and a few things. So we are spending some money and doing this car justice. And uh, Wizard is diving in, I guess. Yep, Danielson is actually. We're going to put the correct battery in it. They had actually a battery for a Honda in there, a 24F. Okay. And we have an H6 battery, which is supposed to go in there. It'll mount properly. We've cleaned out all the gizmos and gadgets and you mentioned your radio would freeze up sometimes yeah it was because they had an aftermarket bluetooth module that was shorting out and just freaking the radio out we got that out of there so that was my issue that's my big thing that i had to come up and see like right away what's no, wrong no no <laughs> okay <clears throat> i'll get to that here in a minute but <laughs> right. mechanically this car is actually very good all the issues are from the accident i think are all cosmetic but underneath in the back there is a collision when this collision happened it looks pretty bad something's not good okay so what am I looking at here so you've mentioned you when you go to shift it clunks or it's kind of a hard shift when it's really like when you're really going full out like 9,000 rpm shifts you feel maybe a little more than you should like a bad mount yeah there are some the mounts are pretty bad on this but it's contacting this bent structural bar that goes across if you look it's actually caved what? in in the middle so this is my transmission that has a little bit of red overspray from when it was painted. Yes, and, and it's literally like a quarter of an inch from touching that bar because the bar is bent upwards. You can see it, yeah. So this is bent up when it should be straight. Yes. Oh no. And what I'm concerned about is these tabs right here on either side where they mount the oh. solid aluminum. They're, they're bent as well. I see they got bent up a little bit. So, I mean, I could replace the bar, but then we may have issues where the actual mounting points are bent as well. So how does one fix that? We're going to pull the bar off, and I have an 8-pound sledgehammer. So you're just going to smack the... the, the and you're going to w just Will Smith it? Yeah, just... Okay, got it. Uh, but then the tabs are a little bent on the end there, so if it's straight, then will it be weird? Yeah, I may have to put some spacers or shims to take up the gap because the mounting points are bent also, so. Huh. Well, it is a salvage title car, and I guess we're seeing a little bit of that. Uh, the front, which I thought would have all the damage, well, it's just, it's been fixed pretty well. Yeah, pretty decent. The rear, well, that's that's a thing. I guess this car just immediately depreciated uh, a lot yeah, by welcome. showing this on video. Uh, which I've done before by cutting holes in Lamborghinis and such, but uh, Diablo, any updates? No holes, I hope. No, no holes. Let's go take a look. There it is. Hey, hey. So, we have a lot of helpful comments in YouTube, a lot of certified genius mechanics that have told us a lot of things that you have chased, right, on this Diablo with this, mm -hmm. this moaning noise? Yes. Things like uh, EGR. Yep, that was the most recent test, so we disconnected the hoses, let it vent to atmosphere to see if possibly it was sucking in air through one of the crank seals, and it was still making the noise even with those open to the atmosphere. And it will do it 
if you drive it for a little bit, just sitting and revving, you can hear it moan. So it's not like it's a driveline thing with the bearing. It, I mean, transmission seems so unlikely at this point because right. it'll do it when it's sitting. Mm -hmm. uh, but now you have these things. Um, uh, ears? Yep. These are part of a special tool called Bluetooth chassis ear. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can put them on your... <laughs> well, uh, that, what we're trying to do is find the noise, which if you put it there, you'd probably make the noise, right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so since Wizard didn't want to demonstrate, I guess I will. I have a microphone attached to each of my nipples here. You see the little Bluetooth here, which is hooked into the microphone, which if it is one of these nipples making that noise... Oh. No, nope. nope. Doesn't seem to be liking it. Uh, I might have to restart the program. Anyway, you get the picture. A little troubleshooting, and we'll be off to the races. I guess we can pin these to uh, random things other than my body parts, obviously, in the car that we suspect. But uh, I guess now you can take your bets. I'm going to say maybe something intake. Yeah, we'll check the intake. I was thinking maybe an accessory. Hmm. Like power steering? Like power steering, steering maybe the alternator. Yeah. Mm, okay, one of the bearings on there. Yeah, that's a good call. All right, well, we'll start placing these on things. Oh, that's actually quite painful. And then drive it. All right, we got ears on the intakes. We got the ear on the accessory. And then one more in the okay. bowels of the engine. Correct, one up here on the bowel of the engine. Very good. Give it a minute. It starts moaning. You know, you got to warm it up. Yeah, you know? it's a temperamental beast. Mm -hmm. Any day now. <laughs> Don't be shy. There it is. There it is. So nice to hear your lovely singing voice again. So you're switching through the channels? Yeah, I'm switching through the four different channels that I have. They all sound like engines? They all sound like engines. Takes are the quietest right now of the four channels. Okay. My engine is a little bit noisier, the one on the engine. And the accessory is quiet. Mm. So right now, what I'm hearing is it's loudest on the engine. Which was down low, kind of behind you, which is what it sounds like anyway. Yeah. So what's around there that would make that noise? Camshafts. But it's only happening at certain RPMs, so that wouldn't make any sense. Right. It's just exhaust. Well, this has been very helpful. <laughs> well, it's actually been a week since I did that and uh well there's many reasons to do that also because the uh things that i'd hooked to my nipples uh they didn't work very well did they those are the chassis ear wireless setup and that is the most garbage i've ever seen it is just trash we kept trying to narrow it down but then one would fail and then we were down to two and then we were down to one and then well basically nothing so it didn't help us other than say it's somewhere somewhere around here Right, but I have this new setup. I'll open the door here and oh, show Oh, okay. You. Well, I see all the wires here, wizard. They're going into the cabin now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this isn't wireless, and this is just a Chinese knockoff, and it actually works so good. You can watch each microphone and the intensity through little LEDs, mm -hmm. turn up the volume, kind of like that. Wow. Okay. Well, are we any closer to finding the noise? Hello? Ho hello? Is anybody home? That's a lot better. So is the noise. That's even picking it up on some of the other ones a little bit. <laughs> there it is, okay. So the closest microphone to the noise is going to be the loudest, all right. Yeah, and it kind of like the old one found, it's right in here. We think it's that something right down in the valley here. Okay. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually get on, kneel right here on the intakes. While the engine is running? Yes, not driving. 
But it's going to be, you're going to be at 3,000 RPM, this motor turning, and you're going to be kneeling on it. Yes, with a stethoscope. Now I know exactly where to dial in and, and see where it's at. Okie dokie. Um, well, another place where I know where I'm at is with the Ferrari 458, which we just ordered a bunch of parts from AMH Exotics. Let's go take a look. Oh, the noise meter? It was, it was picking you up talking. Yes, I have multiple torn down exotics. This one's still in a state of... Oh my god. Um, <laughs> but uh, we've ordered parts. So I made the wizard faint in the first video with him in this because I said only $1,200 worth of stuff wrong with it. Well, that's not true. So over here is just the parts bill, which that's a lot of nuts and gaskets and rings and window switches so they don't explode in your hand and that kind of stuff. $4,339.50 worth of stuff. The belly pan itself. $645. Parking switch, $540, which is just falling apart. Yeah, there's some more shields here to cover stuff up, I think, $296 each. So it all adds up to $4,339. Mm -hmm. uh, not going to be a bear of labor to put on. But one thing they do not have is that crossbar that's bent. Right, but I do have a solution. What is that solution? The higher the value, the bigger the hammer. I, okay, this is it right here. So it's off. It is definitely bent up. This part is over a thousand dollars, but you can't get them right now. So this is this is your solution. Yes. Thor. I'm gonna do Thor. Here you throw it, and I'll catch it. <laughs> I can barely lift it. Just a few short wax, I guess. I hope. You ready? Yeah. I think you need to put your hips into it a little bit. I don't want to go too far. Oh. Yes, this is how we fix the Ferrari. Just like that. It's actually better. Oh, that's that's straight-ish. Straight-ish. Yes. I can go a few more hits and get it straight-ish-er. Okay. I mean, that's better than drilling holes into a, an exotic, yeah. Yeah. I'd say that would stop it from banging the transmission in. It gives it another quarter inch, and that's the last quarter inch you need. Quarter inch is all it takes. Well, that's wonderful, Wizard. We are well on our way into fixing the Ferrari with your BMW hammer, with the car that you hammered uh, earlier. And then there's actually one other Ferrari. We're almost finished with the 355. It's just one last thing that is torn up that's going to be fixed at Ninja's. That one turned out so well. It did it? so, so well. There's one thing that Ninja has a little more experience on with the Ferraris that, that he can fix. What's that? You're not offended. It's the top. He can replace the top. Oh, I have no offense with that at all. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Wizard. Don't be careful with that. <laughs> Hopefully not too far in the distant future, the 458 will be in a place like the 355. But nothing, though, sounds better than this car. It just has a bunch of holes in the roof, so hopefully in this box is the final thing to fix the last thing on this 355, and then it's it's perfect. Ninja. Oh. <laughs> These may be the most unreliable Ferraris ever, but they're the best sounding ever, I it think. sounds awesome. Yeah. I love it. Well, you've seen this movie before with the tops. I sold you a Ferrari with a bad top, and mm -hmm. you did it yourself, yep. which came out really well. You've had this thing for two years now, Ninja, right? Yes. Two glorious years of pulling it in and out of your shop and not driving it very much? No, I don't have the time, you know that, so. <laughs> yeah, you um, said you're going to sell it. Yes. Time to. How much? As much as I can. It's worth a lot more than what I sold it to him for, mm. that's for dang sure. Yeah. A lot, a lot more. <laughs> Nice examples like this are selling for low six figures nowadays. Yeah, so I just looked at eBay and they're, they go for like 110, 115. Yeah. Oh well, at least I've got the 355 back, but the top, I'm a little scared of the box here. Yeah, I'm a little scared of this box because it says fragile handle with care glass, so I'm, I hope I didn't that's, get the... That's a good company though. I know, but let's make sure it's the right thing. I wonder if they were just lying about it being glass so people didn't... Man I don't think it's glass. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's too light. Does it look like a top? Yep. And no glass. Holds. Okay. Well, that's See? good. 
so they were just lying to get people to be gentle with it. Exactly. All right, we're good. Now, I keep telling myself, no, 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 and there you are, still here. What, with the top? Yes, every time I do one, I'm like, never again. I asked you before and you were very, you smiled just like that and said, sure, why not? It, you, you get to put the cherry on top of the 355. We'll do. And better yet, it's not power operated anymore like yours, what you fought with. It's it's totally manual. So it's perfect. Yeah. Kind of have a handle here to just pull up. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. See? All right. I'll put the camera down just to get it. Yeah. It's really easy. A total cinch with two people, but one person, really easy to do as well. So you see the big hole over here? Yeah. Is this going to be harder or easier than the 360? Super, super easier. Really? Way easier. Okay. Yeah. So you're happy now? Yes. Famous yeah. last words when you say it's easy, then there'll be something that trips you up, but nah. I don't see what I, it could be. You know, I hardly complain, so. Right. Okay, well, I'll leave you to put the cherry on top of this thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can I take it for a spin? Oh, of course. So this Ferrari almost finished the 458. Uh, well, it's uh, banging away, obviously, in the Lamborghini. The mystery continues. A never-ending mystery. Thank you so much for watching.